go and see the world and just show them what it really means to live life golden. Yeah, we'll go. What's going on everybody, Sophisticated here, your resident title trickster, bringing you the latest and greatest Fizz content there is to offer. If you enjoy what we do on the channel, remember to show your support by subscribing, smashing that like button, and leave a comment to let me know what you think. Without further ado, let's get right into today's gameplay. What's going on guys, Sophisticated here bringing you another Fizz gameplay video. Today we're in the mid lane and we're up against a Vladimir. He took Teleport, Flash, Phase Rush with Domination Secondary, so probably like Ravenous Hunter or something. And uh, yeah, it's going to be pretty hard to kill Vladimir. Vladimir is a real hard counter matchup for Fizz because he can just pull you. I mean, if you hard engage onto him, he can pull your fish if you land it. Um, and it, yeah, it's just a really great disengage for Fizz, into Fizz. And then he scales like an absolute unit. I mean, this guy, it's just inevitable. I mean, it's not a matter of uh, if he's going to scale. It's more so a matter of, you know, when. So we'll try and uh, – we probably can't trade with him at all, really, until we hit level 3 because we did take PTA today. I think that's probably better into the matchup if you're looking for kills on Vlad early. Since he's not hitting any of these minions, I may just start E here just so I can secure all three of these. Ooh, I mean all two of those. Ooh, big invade right there. Although our jungler may be able to get that. I don't want to take a Q from him, but I think it would be worth it if I get the minion. Because he tanks aggro from the minions for hitting me. Looks like our Lee does go down there. They may even pick up two there. I can't walk up this one because I don't want to give him an empowered Q, though. I don't mind taking that other Q because it was a little Q. You can tell if it's empowered by the red bar. If it's full red bar, then it's empowered. Does a lot of damage. I'm not going to walk up and let him... Oh, man. I, st I, could I should be able to reset it off of this. All right, so... Did he hit me with the Q right there? If he hit me with the Q, it, okay, no, he didn't. I was about to say, that was like the smallest damage and ability I've seen from a while. He just hit me with an auto is all it was. All right, he's got his Empower Q. I definitely am not going to look to trade into that. Even with all my minions there, it wouldn't be worth. All right, now that we have level three, we can definitely look to trade with him here. Get the nice Q auto W on him, chunk him real hard. I did have my Corrupting Pots on the wrong key, so. I didn't get the maximum damage that we could have got. See, just walk up for that. I don't want to give him empowered Q as the usual boys, so I'm just gonna walk away from him there. He's gonna look to step up for this cannon minion here. Ooh, I didn't reset my W. Pretty bad because I really need that for the PTA trade. Let's see, he's pretty healthy here, and he's about to have his empowered Q. Let's see, Ivern's bot side. We see it coming from a mile away though. So since he used that, I can just walk up and hit that. The wave is going to be slowly pushing into me. Because he only has three minions on his side. And he's got more now on his side. Ooh, wow. They got the... Maybe they just stayed and looked for the outplay. Because they did get a kill down there. I'm just going to let this guy's wave push into me. Because there's no way I'm getting a kill on him under the tower. This Vladimir is diamond three, two, two by the way. So he's not bad at all. This wave is shoving in super hard to us. And I can hold it. The only problem is Ivern is taking that bottom scuttle there. So their jungler is going to be around. I could look for a little trade on him here. Got my PTA and I'm going to deny him the empowered Q on me. And just walk away there. I need to run up for this one. Ooh, I was close to being able to get that. He doesn't have his uh, E or his... He's going to have to pull that. Oh, man. If I had my W there, I could have looked for a trade onto him there. He's just going to teleport back to the lane. Might be able to look for him here. Oh, it's going to be so close. Give me the PTA. All right. I don't care what it takes. I'm killing that guy at that point. No, don't die. Oh, poggers. He lives. All right, he is, he is going to just teleport right back in. We didn't get the kill, but yeah, at that point, I was just hard committed for it. If I had mana, I could have killed him and survived because I could have just queued to him, right? But we did get his flash and his teleport there. <laughs> it's like our bot lane goes down. They might get a two there. Oh, close. Ash almost gets both of them there, but Ivern shows. All right, so they're brawling back and forth. Let's see. This guy might have a... Yeah, he does have an XP lead on us because of the teleport. I'm just going to QW that because I want to make sure that I get it. 
Ooh, if he had tanked the tower shot there, that would have been real good for us. Because then I could have potentially looked to go on him. I got to wait for him to cube before I can bite him really at all. I just hit him with the PTA trade and then I walk away, basically. I double E away. Don't give him a chance to hit me with his E or his Q. And then once my W's up, I'll go in. Let's see. I do have the wave in a good spot, but he's got the, his Empower Q. I can't walk up right there. Because he's pretty strong right here. He is level 6, so his Empower Q is actually going to chunk. The only problem with trading into him right here is there's a huge minion wave. And even if I hit him with any damage right now, he's just going to heal it up with his Empowered Q. So I'll have to sacrifice that one, which is fine because it was about to die anyways. Ooh, we almost got him all. Got very close. It's like our bot lane. Yeah, this Ivern is just camping down there super hard. Can't look to fight him either because of the Ivern being bot lane or being bot side here. Let me look for a little trade on him. I was gonna look to see if he was gonna keep going. I was gonna look to get one more auto onto him. I can't go too ham though because I do know that Ivern is bot side. Throw my control ward up that top side. The wave is in a real bad spot for me here though. I'm gonna pop a con uh, corrupting pot and just look to shove this in if I can. If he autos me, that's fine. He's tanking minion aggro. Ooh, I'm super surprised I was able to walk out of his range of his Empower Q there. He's tanking all these minions, so I'm fine with that. Like, that's a huge minion way to be tanking. Cannon a couple casters. I gotta hop that way from his E, because if I get hit by the E, I die. Look for a fish on him, maybe get his pool. Ooh, he's stuck right here, right here, right here. I just all in him, let Lee finish him. Really nice. Sick. I do have Ivan right there, but I can kite up to this and get health, and I don't think he can kill me. Sweet. So we get the kill on him. That's good. I'm two assists, but no kills. But that's fine. This guy has no teleport, so I really want to push this in as fast as possible to punish that. If I was hit, uh, healthier... And had like more sustain in the corrupting pots or something. I would just keep that wave pushing into me and uh, force him to come to me. Because I could just pop my pots. But since I don't have any sustain, I just need to shove that in. Deny him of all these minions. And then we'll get a reset in ourselves. We'll grab... I think what I want to do here just to completely counter this Vlad is rush a Morellos. I never do that with Fizz. But I really don't think it could be terrible. Because I have PTA, I think our trades are real strong against him. And it'll apply to their whole team. They have a Rakan, right? So he's going to be healing people. This guy heals a bunch in his melee form. This guy heals a bunch. And Ivern actually has a fat shield too, so. Not too bad. We'll see how it feels. I mean, I definitely like Proto Belt a lot better because it gives you cooldown reduction. But I think this will be pretty big in our particular matchup here. Looks like our bot lane does go down there and get some kills. Um, he may alt us here. Pro he could probably alt us here. He has no pull right here, though. He's going to have to alt me here. I have no alt either, so... If he gets... Nice, there we go. I just had to sit there with my exposure damage and auto him, basically. I know he has no pull, and I don't have any abilities up, so just... Wasting time moving is no point in that. I mean, I'm not going to attack move there. I'm just going to sit in autumn with my empowered W's. And he has nullifying orb too. You really don't see many Vladimir's go nullifying orb. So it's making it a little bit extra difficult to kill him there. But we get the kill on him, the solo kill. And to be honest, this Mar this uh, Grievous Wound might have helped us a little bit. We don't have it fully yet, but the uh, magic penetration could have definitely helped us. What I want to look to do is just uh, let that tower hurry up and... ooh. Ali's getting fought by the Ivern. He may just take that Mountain Dragon from us. Nothing I can do here. I just need to shove this in and try to get these minions if I can. Cannon being the most important. I don't think I'll be able to, though, because I'm tanking tower shots. Sweet. We get the cannon. We probably shouldn't have stuck around for that. That was extremely greedy. Because if the enemy team just rotated there, they probably could have killed me. 
or burn my made me burn my flash. I'm gonna miss a lot of minions because uh, this is a huge wave, and he has a good, pretty good wave clear at this point. But I definitely need to back right there and grab that. Pretty close to our Morellos here. Let's see how is Moore doing? I'm not sure who wins that matchup. Looks like he's oh and he's just splitting really hard. Pretty even matchup, but let's see Vlad is coming right through here. Team's got to be careful. Looks like our bot lane and their bot lane are just brawling back and forth constantly. I'm going to come here. I think we can fight this guy for sure. Just going to double E right away and look for a fish on him. I can force his pull here. And then just flash, ignite, Q through him. Hit him with another auto. Get his flash. I can pop this. I could probably look to fight him here. Ooh, I needed Lee Sin to hit that Q 100%. Um, if Lee hit that Q, we potentially could have did it, but without Lee hitting that Q, I don't think we can. He's got to be careful here. I'm just trying to split the enemy up here. We just got a flash out of one of them, too. I have to be careful, though. I can't get snared. We can maybe burst the Vlad. We need one more auto on him. Nice! The Ash comes in in the clutch. I can Q through this as well. We could put massive pressure on this tower here. Our team just killed uh, three people. Their mid, their jungle, and their support. All right, let's see. I just want to kill these minions, the enemy minions, so that way my minions will start targeting the tower. And obviously to get the gold from the minions. Oh, Aphelios is here. See you later, buddy. I don't know why these people aren't going on me. I have no health, no mana. They easily could kill me here. In my professional opinion. But we'll back here, get our Morellos. Really, really early Morellos. It's going to be insane. We'll grab another control ward just because we have the gold ward as well. And I think we're going to be swapping lanes. Potentially. Vlad went bot, so. The enemy team do have a really scaly team comp, though. This guy scales extremely hard. So does this guy and this guy. And Ivern's a pretty, pretty uh, solid champ as well. Looks like Homeboy's flanking our Mordekaiser. Our Mord has ult, though, so. I don't have my Ignite, but I do have Morello, so that should be really good. I'm going to come put a Control Ward down here. So if my Lee does decide to gank from this bottom side. This guy steps up at all. Really, I'm going to look to fight him. I can't look to fight him, obviously, when he's got that red. Yeah, the Empower Q, but at this point, if he walks up, I'm definitely looking to fight him. Because he's going to grieve for the Cannon Minion there. And I can get Look at that trade right there. The full PTA trade and walk away. Don't even give him a chance to hit us. Make sure we get the cannon. Probably force his pull here if he steps up. Doesn't look like he's going to step up, though. Yeah. Look for a fish on him. Oh, I hit the fish. Oh, Lee didn't come here. I thought too late. I just used my R on him. I thought Lee was coming there. That's why I used my R so soon. I got his pull. Oh, no, buddy. Get PTA for the exposure damage. He's dead. Oh, yeah, I'm not sure what Lee was doing there. He came a little too late. Was close. It was very close. I thought he was coming earlier, though. I think maybe he stole the red buff from Ivern. But I got the pull out of uh, Vlad. That kills him right there. He's going to burn out to Ignite. I think my W actually landed. I hit him with the W and the Ignite. Ivern's bot, so I can just pepper this tower up. Ooh, Aphelios does get two kills. He's very strong here. I'm just going to E this tower shot. Try to hit the whole wave there, too. Might be able to clear this. Ooh, I messed up my W there. Um, I can't really help that. I'm just going to let them do their thing. I want to get this tower if I can. I don't know where Ivern is, but I know that Vlad is down. I might be able to get this. Auto W it. If I get this, it'll be worth. Even if I die here. I need to run down the long way here. Nah, nah. I have no mana. I just got to let him know that we got the, we got the first tower. No need to uh, try and greed there. I just need to reset myself. I have 1,500 gold anyways. Actually, I want to grab this plant, and then we need to do this. We got to go for this. I do have my alt up. No ignite, though, which is a little sketchy here. 
We just gotta help out our team here. I'm just gonna look for a fish on anyone, really. And then QW through this guy, hit him with another auto. Another auto and just walk him down here with PTA procs. Take out his, his daisy. Senna gets the kill on him. We can run these guys down. I don't have any mana. Oh, he jumps to the... We should probably still be able to run these guys down. I'm fast in this. Once I get my Q up, I could potentially jump over to him. See, he's going to jump away. He might just be able to execute. I'm going to reset. Our Ash and our Mord should be able to take that. Actually, he's going to greed here. See, he should be in this bush right here. Where'd he go? Wow, this dude's an escape artist. Let's see if I can't catch him going the long way here. This guy is going to do it. He's back to his team now at this point. Actually, we're flanking this guy. Get our PTA trades on him. Nice. We proc PTA and actually kill him. And I think that last hit right there saved our Mordekaiser. See, so we'll get a reset in here. I just shadowed my bot lane. Maybe he should drop the Herald here, I think. Lee does have a Herald. Oh, I got hit by a minion. Are you kidding me? All right, we'll get a reset in here. Um, Whatever they do is whatever they do. I'm going to go ahead and grab my two items that are going to build into my Proto Belt and then probably just go mid here. Soak up that wave and then maybe look to go top. I don't know. We'll see. We'll play off this Lee. He does have the Herald here. So, ooh, I'm going to come to this. Ooh, Ivern got him. Ooh, he blasted himself the wrong way. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see, actually. I think he's out. I think he's long gone. Maybe if I can. Ah, now nah, I'm just going to catch this wave. Huge wave here mid. Way better to just catch this wave. We're s actually really close to uh, Vladimir in terms of CS, which is good because I'm pretty sure he should be winning the CS. Because he's arranged and he was supposed to be able to bully us early. But we crush him in lane. I really want to pressure in mid before I look to do anything. But it looks like Daisy or not Daisy, but Ivern's back there. I'm coming here. This dude should be caught out. Yeah, he's toast. Alright, let's see here. Let's see what this guy does. I'm going to take out his vision here. No need for me to let him keep that when I have the sweeper. Just go ahead and pop some pots. Vlad is just sitting in the bot lane and is going to scale up real nice. But we're getting some good amount of CS here ourselves. And we're walking around with our team helping enable picks like that. Ooh, if I can grab this, that'd be sick. Ooh, nice. They are going to let me take it here. And we kill this guy. I'm just going to fish him because if I fish him here, he dies. I'm going to ignite him too. I'm going to flash Q, QW through this guy. Hit him with one more auto of Pac PTA. Oh, he's so low, man. So incredibly low. I just can't keep going myself. I'm just going to eat here and clear this wave. Let my team kind of do whatever they're going to do there. All right. We're getting triumph procs, boys. That means we're getting assists. All right. So four of the enemy team goes down. He pops a herald. That's good. We'll probably get it on the inhibitor turret, which is arguably better, too. Because we don't want to waste the charge on this. Actually, it'd be really big if we could take this out before the Herald charges. Nice, so it won't lose HP. We should be able to pressure this tower in, too. We have a double cannon here. Actually, a single cannon, but we have the Herald. I can um, just Q these. Get these minions low. So that way, Herald will do damage to the inhibitor here. All right, now we just bail. Um, I do want to stick around with him, though. Because I basically just want to hang out with my Mordekaiser and help him when he comes out of there. Um, he may be toast, though. Yeah, he's toast. We just got to let him die here. Thank you for your sacrifice, good soldier. And we just bail out here. We don't want to give him anything else. We can uh, sweep on our way out and deny the enemy their jungle. What is this guy doing? Trindamir is uh, proxying us here. He shouldn't have alt up. Just gonna double E here because I can't afford to get snared uh, in their uh, jungle. I'll just hop over right here. Actually, this guy's dead. I'm just fishing right here because he to block his escape route. And then I'm QW into one of them, getting PTA procs here, and then just autoing. Nice. We could do Baron off of that. Um, we kind of need Mordekaiser. Does Mordekaiser have teleport? He does have teleport.
I'm just letting him know that, that there's a ward right there. Not. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I'm just letting him know just if he needed to, there was a ward there. So that way, you I mean, if stuff popped off, he would instantly know where a ward was so he could uh, just teleport in super fast. But he's completely right. We definitely didn't need it. I want to take this scuttle and then reset and then come uh, to this dragon here. All right, let's grab our proto belt. We'll go ahead and do tier two boots as well. And then, you know what? We'll just go full glass cannon here. No need for our Zonyas. We'll go our uh, Lich Bane third item and then Zonyas fourth, probably. Uh, they may ha have this. I don't know. If Aphelios is taking this, they can. Ha they have the damage for it. Okay. No, they're all down here fighting this guy. Mordekaiser might be toast. Oh, he saved me that blue. Thank you. Thank you. Um, I might be able to catch these guys. Yeah, this guy's toast. Let's look for a fish onto this guy, igniting him. We just need to take one out immediately so we can uh, mess up the other guys. I should get this guy. Yeah, I got this guy. PTA proc, boys. We should just be able to go in through... Um, actually, we should take this dragon. After, I don't know, maybe after our siege, we take the dragon. We have Baron buff, so we want to use our uh, our buffed up minions here to do the siege. We could potentially get an inhib off of this. There's, that is three people down. I have my ult soon. Let's see here. We should be able to get this. I have Sheen. Just try not to get hit by that. He is going to call out his ult, but that's fine. Um, may not be able to do... We, yeah, we could take out his ult really good, really fast. And then just play the minion wave here. I can walk up and get an auto W on it for the Sheen procs. And then now we just come mid. Just rotate mid with our Mordekaiser and just keep using our Baron buff. Ooh, looks like Ash is actually getting kills there. I'm just going to rotate here because I can Baron buff these minions. Mordekaiser doesn't have it. And we can just basically triple inhib them and end super clean. Real textbook. If my team keeps fighting there, that's fine. I have faith in them. I'm just going to do the... Uh, the guaranteed strat here to win, which is taking this inhib. Kudos on the enemy team. They're, they still haven't forfeited. Out. You mean two inhibs down, being pressured in by Baron buff? You think that they would forfeit? But we should be able to end pretty cleanly here. I'm gonna look for a fish on this guy. That should kill. Oh, close. QW through him. Nice. And we got the cannon too, boys. Let's see if we can't QW through this guy and kill him. We were able to. All right, so we got the kill on the him, too. Looks like our team's going to clean those guys up as well. All right, boys, that's the Fizz versus uh, Vlad matchup. And that guy's a diamond Vlad, too. So pretty uh, pretty good level competition. We'll take the after action after this, boys. All right, guys, this is the after action for the game we just played against that Vladimir mid. So starting from my top laner, my Mordekaiser was diamond one. Our jungler was diamond two. I'm sitting at platinum four. We had a platinum one ADC and a platinum two support. And shout out to my team. My team just overall played really, really well around each other this game. We started, um, I think there was a there was a point when it was kind of close because Ivern kept going bot and um, influenced in bot fights. And I thought that at one point that Aphelios was going to get so strong to the point where we, like there was going to be no coming back. But yeah, our Lee Sin really started popping off and affecting every area of the map. And then us beating that Vlad as hard as we did was really nice too because it allowed our jungler to basically be able to come in and successfully gank mid. You know what I mean? Because the Vlad wasn't like super strong at any point. Um, starting from the enemy top. So there, that Trinomere was gold three, level 26 Ivern. And I'm sure this is just somebody, you know I mean, um, level on an account because look how high, how high the elo of the players are in here. This guy's probably just level on an account and has been playing with someone on this enemy team, I bet. The enemy Vladimir we're going up against in lane was diamond three. So Definitely no slouch, and he, you I mean, that's the, one of the good room pass for Vlad, too, is a phase rush. We just, I think we just had him, you I mean, shook with our PTA damage. He really wasn't expecting us, the damage from the PTA, or how often we were going to be able to proc it. Pretty much, we were proccing it off cooldown that game. We would Q auto W, and if we could go for more autos, we would, and if not, we would E, dodge his, his, uh, his E, and then hit him with our E if we could. And if not, we would just disengage with it. So we really didn't give him many opportunities to um, kill us or really get aggressive on us in lane. So the enemy ADC was actually a master tier uh, player. I didn't know that, but makes sense. This, this guy popped off. He did the most damage in the game. Actually, no, he did not. He did the second most damage in the game. 
Ash did the most in the game. But, yeah, this guy did really well himself. Uh, gold 3 support, and, yeah, so that was it, guys. I took PTA because I felt like I'd be able to have, like, situations where I could follow up on the exposure damage and actually execute that. Whereas Electrocute, you basically just Q Auto W, you get the Electrocute proc. You can maybe get a couple more enhanced autos with your W, but I don't feel like it's as impactful. I mean, and with PTA, I'm exposing him not only to my damage, but to everyone on my team's damage for the next six seconds. So, like, in a gank, if I Q Auto W the Vladimir and Lee Sin comes and his pulls down, and if he manages to hit a Q while he's exposed, he's basically just dead. So that was pretty pretty much my reasoning for the PTA this this video. And I, I'm really coming to like PTA a lot. I, I still really love Electrocute. And I feel like if there's matches where you can abuse the PTA and there's no chances of you getting CC'd, CC'd and you can Q in, proc the you know I mean PTA really easily, you should do it because you can abuse it. So really the only CC they had this game is the Rakan and the uh, Ivern. And their CC is pretty dodgeable with my uh, my E. Or I can basically just choose, like, if it looks skittish, I just won't Q in. But on this guy, he has nothing to stop me from Q auto Wing him. So that was pretty much my thought process right there. And I knew I could just abuse it over and over and over throughout the course of the game. But, yeah, guys, if you enjoyed the video, drop a like. If you haven't yet, sub to the channel. It really does help, and we'd love to have you here. If you want to see anything in the future in specific, let me know in the comment section below. All right, hope to see you guys on the next video.